Hello everyone and welcome back to Formula One 2017 Career Mode. Today you can see we have the Baku Grand Prix. Unfortunately I am an idiot and I deleted the files for the Canadian Grand Prix which is my home race but you can see I finished fourth. It was a wet start and uh, basically strategy got me there but um, I, I feel like a complete idiot for deleting those files but we're going to go to qualifying here in Azerbaijan and I can hear the roof pounding down or not the roof the rain pounding down on the roof and you can see we are on the wet tires going into this qualifying session as we begin our lap the goal is to qualify in ninth or better obviously and I'm right off the bat I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit that I'm thinking I'd be lucky to qualify 15th or better really at this point because that's usually how I do in uh, wet qualifying I'm not very good at qualifying in the rain I can race uh, way better in the uh, rain than qualifying but uh, it does not look like rain is going to be a factor when it comes race time Just trying to get the best corners I can lined up together. Trying to be really careful on the throttle at the same time. Such a fun track to race at really. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game. And now we come to the end of our second lap. I had to complete a second lap because my first lap was complete trash. But at the end of the second lap, we pick up big time and we will go P7 that was a huge pickup and we are two spots better than what the goal was the grid is set then so that just leaves the race itself join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action and until then it's goodbye. You see our teammate Lance Stroll there in 15th. Not a good result for him. Something just a little bit different. It's quite high speed for a street circuit here, isn't it? Do you think that's going to throw up any unexpected situations? Well, as long as the teams can keep everything cool, I don't foresee any particular big issues from a technical side of things. I do expect the track to be quite slippery, though. We've not exactly had much chance to rubber in the surface. Any street circuit also comes with its own challenges, so. I think we'll be seeing a few mistakes here and there. The smart strategy would be to expect a safety car, I think, especially early on when the pack is bunched up. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Ricardo, Nico Hülkenberg, and Hamilton, a Williams, Verstappen, Sainz, and Daniel Kvyat, Magnussen, Palmer, Esteban Ocon, and Alonso, Stroll, Perez, Stoffel van Dorn, and Pascal Wehrlein, Grosjean, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. All right, there's your starting grid for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Great starting position for us. Let's see if we can improve on that in the race. Uh, hopefully we can improve on that, Jeff. Make sure I got my uh, setup in. But now let's get ready to go green in Baku. Five red lights and we are away in the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Right off the bat, we have a Renault up here, but we're going to go the inside of Hulkenberg, make it three wide up the middle right into turn one it works very very well we clear both him and Lewis Hamilton for the fifth position Ricardo is gonna shove Raikkonen out a bit out of turn two we're gonna try to get a run up the inside of him they're all over the place and we're gonna go up the inside of Ricardo we are once again in a three wide position but we're gonna send it up into the corner and clear them both Raikkonen looked like he had a little uh, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he got shoved out of the line again. But we are already up to the third position. I don't expect to stay here for long, to be honest. I think uh, everyone else's speed is going to shove me back, probably to around fifth or sixth. At best, anyways. Of 
come through my favorite corner on this circuit. That is so fun to drive through. Get a little loose there out of the exit. I think Ricardo's going to start closing that gap on us very shortly here. Down the long straight away. This is obviously the portion of the track we're going to have to be really aware of everything. I mean, light race moves that can be huge in this uh, section of track. I mean, you can lose so many spots here. And hopefully we don't fall victim to losing a spot towards the end just because of this long straightaway. But as you can see, I actually forgot to change out a few components in the engine, the MG UK and the ES system. So we're going to have to be aware of those. And all the other parts are actually... Well, mo a majority of the other parts are quite close to going into the yellow range, which is kind of concerning. But I'm confident that the parts should last us the whole race, and I don't really think it's any need for concern at this moment. But we're doing pretty decent right now, holding off everyone behind us. I think Ricardo is closing a little bit. His arrow is starting to pop up as you can see there in the bottom of the screen. So he's definitely closing that gap now down to four tenths. It's actually not Ricardo, it's Raikkonen now that is behind us. So Ricardo was passed back by Raikkonen. He is certainly catching us. Obviously Ferrari, Ferrari has been the class of the field this season. So it's not any surprise that they're catching me and about to pass me here. There's Reckoning back there. He's easily going to get me. We're just going to have to get the best result we can. Hopefully a top 6 or 7 is really the main goal for this race. And now we come to lap 6 and Lewis Hamilton's making a move up the inside for position as he locks up and we go up the inside of him. Let's take a look at this again here. See, he makes a move up the inside, he's easily going to clear me, and then he locks up his left front tire, slides through the entry as we get a run back up the inside and clear him going into the next corner here. And after that, we hit the curb and lose the back end of the lie, and that's going to allow Lewis Hamilton to once again drive back on by me and clear me for the fourth position as we fall back to fifth. And now we got Verstappen behind us in the sixth position also quickly running me down I think we're gonna have to rely on strategy in this race to get a really good spot I feel like we could probably hold our own though in six once Verstappen catches me and passes me but Hamilton now is just driving away he's we're not gonna be able to uh, keep up with him obviously being in a Mercedes that he's in A little loose through there once again and through there big time and that's going to allow Max Verstappen to go around the right side. We're going to stick it in side by side through that little bend that really got dicey right there and we hit the wall a bit no damage but that allowed Verstappen to get ahead and clear me. That certainly could have been dangerous right there. I should have backed out earlier. It's way too early in the race to be moving making a move like that but now we come to the end of lap 7 and we have DRS on Verstappen heading into turn 1 we're not close enough to make a move but he's gonna lock up big time into turn 1 and we just barely miss him by inches but now we have gained the fifth position back and he's gonna run us down again eventually but we come down to lap 13 now with uh, Sebastian Vettel right on our bumper he already made a pit stop and we're going to be coming in this time for the soft tires as well. This is a very uh, interesting pit road to get onto. I mean, if you get in, go in there with a little too much speed, I mean, you're going to crash and kill the car. I've seen that many times in uh, league racing. Oh, 
Hopefully we can get the best pit stop possible here. As we come into our pit box now. They throw on the soft tires and we are off with a solid pit stop like no one on pit road with us. And we are going to probably cycle out here easily in the top 10. Got on the curbs a bit there. I, that resulted in a warning. That's just lovely. But look at this mob scene right here. A lot of cars. I think that's Hamilton that we somehow are ahead of. We got Verstappen right behind us. There's so many cars right there. But fortunately, Hamilton's being held up and those cars behind us I'm already faster than. So we're going to be able to easily pull away from them. But Verstappen, he might be able to get back past me here shortly. And we got Daniel Ricciardo now in fourth. Hit the wall there on the exit a little bit. Got the car a little bit loose. But now we come all the way to lap 18. We have worked our way into the fourth position. Still holding off Max Verstappen. I mean, I'm really, at this point, I am I was surprised at how good I was still running. And as you can see, we got a, another component there on the engine that has gone yellow. And that's the uh, ICE, Internal Combustion Engine, I believe that stands for. But at this point, I mean, we're obviously going to make it to the end of this race on these tires. So it's really just a race of holding off Verstappen. And uh, as you can see, we come to lap 20, we were not able to hold him off. He was able to get past me for fourth, and we were shuffled back to fifth. And uh, I was hoping to be able to be up there in fourth just in case something happened to one of the front runners and we could put potentially get our first career podium early on in the season. But Verstappen is slowly pulling away. But hopefully his tires are going to wear out to a point where we can start closing that gap on him in the last couple laps here. And it does look like at this point we are starting to close that gap a little bit on him. So maybe his tires are now hitting that point of uh, just being more, not uh, good enough to get him some really solid lap times that are faster than ours anyways obviously we're certainly now starting the track a little bit faster than him as we come to lap 22 we're slowly inching towards him we just need to keep closing in if we get within DRS range we're gonna be in a pretty solid position to make a pass on him As you can see there, we w we are just over one second behind Verstappen in this point of the race. So we are certainly closing that gap. We just need another tenth or two to be within DRS range. Hopefully by the front straightaway, we will have that opportunity to use that DRS. At this point, I'm just driving this track really aggressive, trying to get the fastest laps I can. Just trying to close that gap. We're now down to 8 tenths of a second behind Verstappen. So if we just keep that gap up to the DRS point, we will be able to use it here on the front straightaway. In turn 1, someone has brought out the yellow. And it's Kimi Raikkonen has blown up or something has happened, probably mechanical-wise. This is going to be right here for a podium position right here on Verstappen now. We get a huge run on him, but we cannot make a pass due to the caution being out. We are now fourth, Verstappen third. This is a battle for the last spot on the podium now. Out of turn two, we're going to have DRS once again. I hit the wall. That slowed me down a bit. But the DRS is going to be fast enough to pull me in here. I'm definitely going to make a move up the outside of Max Verstappen into the sharp left-hander. We're going to go around the outside and somehow clear him with that pass. That was amazing. Now we come to already two laps to go. We are still holding off Verstappen just for that last podium spot. He's the only guy I'm worried about at this point. There's no one close enough to make uh, something happen to where we could lose any more spots. 
So we are just in a fighting match with Max Verstappen at this point in the race. The only spots we have to be concerned with him is the two straightaways. This straightaway and then the front straightaway. That's the only spots I'm concerned with him. Unless obviously I make a mistake, then he'll be able to pounce on that as well. Trying to put the best set of corners I can together coming down to the white flag now. Holding off of Verstappen still. Many parts on the engine are now yellow. But if we just maintain what we're doing, we're going to hold off Verstappen for this final half of a lap. Does not look like he's going to be a factor. He might, he might be able to come back on the front straightaway. That's the only spot I'm really worried about him. Obviously not close enough to Vettel to uh, gain another position. Even if he has trouble, he's probably got second. But now we had the leaders coming to the line. Valtteri Bottas has won the Azerbaijan Grand Prix as we come to the front straightaway one final time. And Verstappen has a pretty big run here down the front straightaway. But I think we got enough of a gap to hold him off. I'm just, I might have to throw a block here. He's got a big run, but it's definitely not going to be enough. We will bring home our first career podium in this F1 2017 career mode at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. How about that? Now let's uh, see the celebration from Valtteri Bottas and uh, the two other drivers to join him on the podium. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? The difference was clearly in the strategy. You could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimize each stint and get the most out of the tires. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. Um, but credit to the driver as well, though. There's no good having a well-oiled machine behind the scenes without a talented hand on the wheel, of course. And here are our podium drivers. There we are on the podium. Excellent race. They've excelled here, as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes, then, are on top today. We're just like Lance Stroll in real life this year, pulling off his first career podium in uh, Azerbaijan. So, there's the finishing order. Uh, look at uh, the point standings now. We got Vettel with a 15-point lead over Max Verstappen. I forgot to mention Max Verstappen won the Monaco Grand Prix, uh, obviously, as you saw if you watched that episode. And he also won the Canadian Grand Prix. So that really helped him in points. We're up to 7th in the points now. Lewis Hamilton is just struggling so bad right now. He really does need help. And in the Constructors, we sit mid-pack right now, which is not too bad. But uh, it'd be nice if we could uh, kind of excel our uh, points a little more. We need a little, a little help from Lance Stroll. He's just not living up to uh, his standards that he should be uh, running up to. So... Next race will be Austria. I'm excited for that one as well. But um, our first career podium. So that's really fortunate. And uh, we're going to make some upgrades, change some parts. And that's going to do it for this episode of F1 2017 Career Mode. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you guys next time in the Austrian Grand Prix.